Welcome back to Living Local. It is time to check in with Movie Mike today for what's new in theaters coming out this weekend. As always, Mike Schultz, arts editor for the River Cities Reader, joins us now for a review of new movies already in theaters and previewing some new ones opening this weekend. That sounds Mike. like a busy segment. Yeah, All sounds right. like we're going to cover a lot, which we are. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, let's start with the reviews, okay? Um, movies already out. Let's yes. start with this one. It's called Britney Runs a Marathon. Britney Runs a Marathon. That's that's all I know about it. That's that's what happens. Britney Runs a Marathon. Okay. It is about, uh, it's <laughs> accurately titled. It is about a young woman, um, uh, a hard partying woman in uh, New York City, uh, who goes to her doctor to score Adderall for a party. Okay. And instead, the doctor says, how about no Adderall, and instead you lose 50 pounds because your heart and liver uh, can't quite take yeah. it. Yeah. And so um, she does. She starts uh, a weight loss regimen. She runs a block one day. She's thrilled to have made it. She does two blocks the next day. She finds herself really, really getting into fitness and she starts losing a lot of weight and prepping for the New York City Marathon. Oh, um, unfortunately though she has incredible self-esteem issues yeah. and so uh, there are complications ensuing but uh, at the end of the day it's a lovely really funny uh, legitimately inspiring movie about uh, about bettering yourself both physically and mentally and uh, Jillian Bell who plays the lead is sensational she is someone who's been deserving a lead role for so long she was um, for those who saw 22 Jump Street a, a rare classic uh, <laughs> sequel that's actually wonderful um, she played uh, kind of a lunatic roommate in that she's uh, been on Comedy Central a lot she's wonderful um, so it was no surprise that she's really funny in this but she's also incredibly touching in this the whole cast is good. There really isn't a surprise in the whole movie over right. an hour and a half, but it's just so sweet and funny. I, I didn't care. It was a great time. Okay. Really okay. enjoyed it. There you go. Thumbs up on that Indeed. one. Indeed. Yeah. Uh, good. Next up, we have this movie called The Goldfinch. Okay. Um, I, I tried to read some stuff. About it. That was, that was, that was the, it. The thumb is going to go a different route yeah, on this I one, really just, just to let plot. you know. Um, a lot of people, yes, uh, rave about this book. Won a Pulitzer Prize, the novel did in 2013, I believe. It is the story of a young boy boy who goes to the Metropolitan Museum of Art with his mother. His mother dies in a terrorist bombing at the Museum of Art um, and the boy basically spends the next 15 years feeling uh, responsible for her death uh, based on a, a complete accident. It wasn't the kid's fault but uh, he does and so the story is about him spending the next 15 years um, under a series of parental figures and uh, meeting friends and uh, it's uh, it's pretty downbeat. It's uh, It feels very, <laughs> Sounds like it, it feels, it, yeah it's not a lot of fun. Um, it's engaging enough. It feels like the, I haven't read the book. It feels like a book I want to read though yeah. now. The story is really interesting. But it also feels very much like Cliff's Notes. Like two and a half hours oh. of, of here's a thing that happens yeah. in the narrative and here's something else. They're trying so hard to be faithful to the material that they kind of forget to make it interesting. Okay. But you've got good people in it at least. You've got Nicole Kidman who's great. Uh, yeah. Jeffrey Wright who's uh, wonderful as always. Sarah Paulson is great. Luke Wilson is in this. The young kid Oakes Faley is his name who plays the younger version of our lead is great. Ansel Elgort, not so great, yep. but he never <laughs> is. So. Ba baby Driver. He's okay. kind of fun in okay. Baby Driver, but that's pretty much it. Uh, so yeah, I didn't care for it, but it's not that bad. All right. Okay. Well, okay. See it if you want to. There you yeah, go. Exactly. All right. Next up, uh, the movie Hustlers. A little bit more of a star-studded cast. That's indeed, yes. With the, one of the biggest stars uh, in the hemisphere right there, Jennifer <laughs> Lopez, who is amazing in this movie. Oh, gosh. I'm not crazy about the movie, but okay. she makes the whole thing worthwhile. Okay. This is Just watch it for JLo. Yes, yeah, seriously. <laughs> she. Uh, it is a true story um, about... It starts in uh, 2007, right before the big financial crash, and it is about a group of pole dancers and strippers who decide to uh, uh, f f financially better themselves by taking advantage of all the Wall Street bankers who've been taking advantage of the country for decades and decades. There and so go. they get them drunk, they get them, uh, they make them uh, close to passing out, Jeez. they get their credit cards, they get their checkbooks, they drain their Swiss bank accounts. And so it's got a lot of great schadenfreude with it, like going, yeah, you deserve that. That's oh. right. You know, um, it's also a really repetitive movie. It's uh, It's got too much slow motion without the slow motion scenes of of bills falling yes. from the sky. Yep, and, you I know, can imagine. Slow walks towards the camera. The movie would be like a half hour long. So it's, uh, <laughs> it's, uh, it's rough, but... Man, oh man, Jennifer Lopez is sensational in this. This uh, premiered at the Toronto Film Festival a couple weeks ago, and she started getting Oscar buzz immediately. And I was, like probably many, going, what? Are, yeah. are you kidding? She's tremendous, though, in this. It would be totally deserved if she got it. There She's you go. great. So, watch for her. Yeah, watch it for her. Watch Absolutely. for her, not necessarily for the plot. For anything else. Okay, right. now yeah. we'll shift to movies opening this week. Oh, yeah. First, we're going to start with Downton Abbey, obviously the famous 
British costume drama TV yes. show. They made a movie out of it. They did. Yes. That's probably all you need to know. Yes. If I you mean, know that's, Downton Abbey. That's really all you need to know, guys. I've already seen it. You're pretty much set. Yes, you're going to have to talk about this in a moment. I'll, I'll give the, okay. the basics. Uh, in case you've forgotten, this was a really successful show on the BBC. It aired on PBS here about uh, the, the Crawley family, an incredibly uh, rich uh, family in the 1920s, and their servants uh, downstairs, uh, the butlers and uh, the maids and, and such. And this basically takes place in the late 20s again, and the king and queen are coming to visit. Uh, you can tell us whether there is actually more plot than that, or if that pretty much covers it, and it's uh, a reintroduction to beloved characters. And no, it's it's so true. Basically, the whole the whole movie is about the king and queen visiting, okay. and, you know, planning a visit, all of that. That's the whole thing. <laughs> Trust me, if you're if you're a Downton Abbey fan, you'll love the movie. Everybody has good happy endings, and there you'll you enjoy the two hours well, of bliss. Yeah, it's like we were saying. It's I mean, it's fan service. It's designed yes. for people yes. who miss the show and want two more hours in their company. Yep. There are certainly worse reasons to go to the movies than that. That's fine. And you've got an amazing cast here. You got Hugh Bonneville and uh, Elizabeth McGovern, and uh, oh, the great Maggie Smith, of course. Yes. You know, and characters that you know and love. And uh, yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to. I myself only saw two and a half seasons of the show, so it's been several years since I've. Uh, any of these people, but I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing them again. It's just as good as the TV show, Excellent. just even more lavish. There, there you, you go, go. folks. Go All out right. and watch it if you like the TV show. Yeah. All right, here we go. Great. Uh, next up, uh, sci-fi, Ad Astra. Ad Astra, yes. This is Latin for to the stars. Oh, is it? And okay, it that is. makes more sense. There now. you go. And uh, it is, uh, as you can see, Brad Pitt, there who plays is. an astronaut who is sent off on a mission to Mars to uh, hopefully find his missing father, who was an astronaut himself and was conducting an experiment in space, uh, the ramifications of which could conceivably end civilization as we know it on Earth. Uh, so dad is missing. Brad Pitt is sent up to find him. And and uh, what you have is basically a, a rescue mission in space by the director uh, James Gray, who's made a lot of really strong um, independent art films that a lot of people haven't seen. Uh, the, the Lost City of Z is one of his and The Immigrant. But uh, you've got a tremendous cast. Besides Brad Pitt, you have Tommy Lee Jones, uh, Donald Sutherland, Liv Tyler, uh, Ruth Nega. It's a great, great cast. And it looks visually spectacular. I think it's playing on IMAX screens. I'm getting like a, I'm a gravity correct. vibe. Yeah, it, you know? yeah, absolutely. Star I hadn't thought of that. Go. You're right, absolutely. But apparently, and uh, apparently, the action scenes in space are done without sound as well, uh, the way it would be yeah, in space. Yeah. Uh, I'm really intrigued by this, and I'm on a, I'm on a Brad Pitt high these days yeah. after a Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. <laughs> yeah, you know, more more Brad, I say. So that's uh, great. So maybe, yeah, could be and, fun. Go out and try that one. Could be depressing fun, but fun. Yeah. So well, yeah, yeah, that's always the risk you run. <laughs> All right, right, last but not least. <laughs> What, there's another Rambo movie oh, coming out. Oh, speaking of depressing yeah. fun? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Go for it. <laughs> we got it. Yeah. Look who's back, folks. It's Rambo. He's oh. back, in case you've been missing him. Uh, the last movie, I want to say, came out maybe 11 years ago. I mean, it's been a long time now since uh, since Stallone has done this to <laughs> done us, this but he's, he's doing it again. Uh, John Rambo, of course, uh, uh, noted vigilante and uh, mumbler, uh, is now living a <laughs> life on his, a quiet life on his farm. But wouldn't you know it, his niece gets gets kidnapped by a Mexican drug cartel, and so he has to go across the border to rescue his niece from a whole bunch of uh, really evil types. He's, I'm sure, brought weapons. I'm sure he's brought <laughs> yes, explosives. Somehow. If not, I'm sure he can find them. I'm, he's got he's got a <laughs> knack for that. Um, so yeah, if it's if this is the kind of thing you like, you'll probably have a great time again. It's not the kind of thing I like, but at least it's 90 minutes long, which is something, I guess. Don't have to drag it out. Yeah, exactly right. <laughs> I try to be positive, but yes. then every once in a while you get Rambo 10 or whatever we're on now. And, <laughs> ah, if know. you're a we'll Rambo see. fan, you'll probably enjoy it no matter what we say. It's the Downton Abbey of Rambo there, movies, yeah, see, really. Yeah, basically so. same concept. Yeah. All right, Mike, <laughs> thank you very much. My In review, buddy. new movies coming out this week are Downton Abbey, Ad Astra and Rambo Last Blood. You can read Mike's movie reviews inside the latest River Cities Reader on Stands Everywhere and online at rcreader.com. And for more information on today's movies, you can just head over to our website, ourquadcities.com. Stay with us. We'll be right back with more Living Local.